Good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you for coming. Uh, well, the, I'm talking about uh, cryptography and security in Python. Uh, a little introduction for uh, for beginners and for intermediate uh, users. Uh, in my speaker deck space, uh, uh, I will I will blow this presentation. And in this in my in this space, I have another presentations relating with security in mobile and in web cryptography. Uh, before starting my presentation, so welcome back, everyone. Uh, for our first normal talk of the day, we've got. Uh, Before starting this, this presentation, I would like to mention uh, other security conference here in Spain. Uh, uh, one, uh, these are uh, security conferences in Spain, like Navaja Negra Conference, uh, RootedCon, No Code Name, or Hesit Minds, that uh, this event it will be in Coruña in November this year. If this is the index I will make. Uh, I will make an introduction to cryptography, the, the basic terms that we that we that will show. Uh, later I will show so, some uh, libraries and tools like the crypto. Uh, in third step, I will show uh, uh, some best practices uh, for Django security and what kind of vulnerabilities uh, we can find in in Django and how to, how to resolve the, these vulnerabilities. And lastly, a little introduction to stenography in Python with some libraries. When we are, we are, when we are talking about cryptography, we can uh, 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 speak about uh, uh, basic terms, uh, the, FIFR, the FIFR test, and we have uh, algorithms uh, like uh, AES, RES, and uh, hash functions like MD5 and uh, SHA. Uh, another uh, of the algorithms that we see is uh, the, the key liberation functions for uh, preventing uh, 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 brute force attacks in, in our par in our par for our parwars. Uh, the key terms we can introduce in cryptography are the key, that is uh, the information that allows encrypt or, in, or decrypt our data, the plain text, that is the, the, the information we, can, we have uh, to, to hide or encrypt, uh, the result of the, of the, of the encrypt is the cipher text, and the, and the algorithm is the, the cipher. The algorithm uh, converts the, the plain text in the cipher text. Another terms more advanced that I will mention are salt that uh, and initialization vector. This terms uh, uh, allows uh, randomize the, the generation of the keys and prevents uh, in general uh, uh, brute force attacks or uh, or dictionary attacks. Uh, one of the first uh, algorithms that uh, 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 that we have for for shifting the, the information is the Kaiser cipher. This algorithm is the is, is one of those, the first, but in the in the Roman uh, sigil. And uh, in this cipher, uh, we ca we have a cipher, a cipher a secret message. And the objective is uh, replace each uh, symbol in the cipher, in the in the secret case, with uh, a, a symbol in the alphabet that we have. And uh, for for example, if we uh, for this, uh, if we if we have uh, to. Uh, uh, to cipher the, 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 the space in the secret in the in the in the in the, in the initial message, we uh, uh, replace by the the person symbol, and and it's a process iterator where 
uh, we can uh, replace uh, with, the, with the alphabet. Order of the functions that we have in cryptography are hash functions. Uh, these functions, uh, uh, the, the use is uh, for uh, calculate uh, the changes of data, uh, verify the integrity of, of, of files, generate passwords, and uh, uh, is used also for digital signatures and authentication. Uh, some, uh, one of the most known of MD5 and SHA uh, variations in two or three. In general, high functions, uh, the idea is that uh, you generate uh, uh, output and this output, uh, the, 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 res the, the, reversi the reversing process uh, must be difficult. Uh, and, uh, for example, uh, we have, for example, in MD5 hash function, uh, 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 this function is uh, cryptography broken and it's possible that uh, we have uh, hash collisions in this algorithm. And uh, uh, my recommendation is use at least uh, functions uh, like uh, is, uh, o sea, algorithms like SHA, uh, variations two and three. In Python, we have uh, the library Hashlib. This library is, is allows uh, the one-way cryptography hashing and supports uh, the, the, basic, uh, the, basic the basic algorithms that I mentioned. Another of the functions, as I comment, is the check the checking the file integrity with ND5 hash function. Uh, this function, for, for example, uh, we pass as parameter uh, the file name and returns the checksum of the of the file for for checking file integrity. When we are, uh, for example, if we have a site and we need to to store the, the user credentials in our database, uh, the useful is uh, generate the password of the user and uh, store the hash of, the, of this password. But uh, I think the best is uh, generate uh, uh, this, pass this hash of the, of the password and uh, concatenate also a random salt. This random allows, uh, as I comment, uh, uh, pro, uh, prevent or avoid uh, uh, brute force or dictionary attacks. And we, and we generate this, this password, we store it uh, uh, more safe in the, in the database. For checking uh, the, the hash, uh, we have tools like, like hash identifier for checking the type of the hash. And this is a Python script uh, that checks uh, the type of, of the hash we, uh, we, can, we have to, to check. One of the first uh, system encryption was uh, uh, the EIS. Uh, this, uh, this system uh, has a circuit, a circuit, a sharp K for encrypt and uh, decrypt. The problem with this is that if we have a, an attacker in a sniffing in the in the network uh, uh, with a uh, tennis like man in the middle, uh, this K can be discovered by the by the attacker. And uh, lastly, and um, after uh, we have uh, the. The, the, the symmetry encryption uh, is known with the algorithm RSA. In this case, we have two, key, two keys, the public key and the secret key. The public key is used for encrypt, and the secret key is used for decrypt the message. In this example, we can see that uh, if an uh, if uh, Alice, for example, uh, wants to send a message to, to Bob, it must use the Bob's public key. And Bob's for the the message needs to use his private key. And this is uh, more secure than the, 
the, the, the other methods uh, that we are setting, where we are setting the, the gate. At this point, we can differentiate the two kinds of concepts, the encryption we have seen before and the signing. The signing is uh, another process for uh, verifying the, the signature or, or uh, that is to say, you uh, sing your message or your data and, we, and in, the, in the receiver uh, for checking uh, this message that is integrity and is valid, the message, uh, uh, use the, the public key. The idea is that you have a message and for uh, very, uh, creating the signature, you use your, your private key and for uh, validating this signature in the receiver message, you use the, the public key. One of the main leverages that we have in Python is Precrypto. This supports uh, all hash operations, uh, this, this, the algorithms that I recommend, uh, supports uh, signed verified documents, and, and is easy to install with PIP. The, generate, the, the generator of the, the, the use of the, of the hash passwords, the generator of the, of the hash, is similar to hashlib, and uh, the result is, is, is the same. With AAs, for example, uh, we have, if we want to encrypt a message, we have uh, to use uh, a key for the algorithm, and we have to um, we use uh, order data like uh, uh, salt, that is uh, the random, a random value, uh, the initialization vector, and uh, use, we can use uh, one function like uh, provide, uh, generate, the, the derivate, uh, obtain, uh, ob obtain uh, derived k from the password. And in this case, we can see that uh, we can use uh, uh, a SAL for, for random the sequence, uh, a length for the, for the key, and uh, internally the algorithm needs uh, the number of iterations for generating the key. In RSA, uh, we have to generate uh, a set, uh, uh, two keys, the public and the, and the, and the secret. And, the, and with, uh, this is uh, the, the, the result where, when we try to generate uh, these this, this two keys in format, uh, pen format for the, for the certificate. This is like a certificate with two case, the private and the public. For encrypt in RSA, uh, we have to use uh, the public key, and for the crypt, we, we have to use uh, the, the secret key. And for SINA verify the data that we have, is the, proce the process is the same. Uh, we have to, to import uh, the key we have to generate in the state previews and uh, update the information with that provide uh, uh, in, the, para in the, the function in the, with, in the parameter. This is an example that we can, we, we can see that uh, we sign a message with this uh, with this uh, algorithm, and uh, we check that the we check that the message is uh, valid and and is uh, integrity uh, and has integrity with the, uh, regarding to the to the to the to the sender when when the sender uh, sends the information. For the best practice we can use for cryptography is uh, avoid uh, as soon as possible uh, 
the functions like MD5 or SHA in one variation and use at least SHA in variation two and three for, as I comment, for avoid uh, brute force or dictionary attacks. Um, another other recommendations that we have uh, is uh, we use techniques like page treating for, uh, for generating strong, strong passwords. These techniques uh, for, uh, for generating the, the password, we, can, we have to, we have uh, any iterations and in each iter iterations uh, we generate, uh, we concatenate the password and the cell generated with the key and in each iteration is, gener is update the key with the new information. And in this, in this form, we can prevent uh, uh, brute force or dictionary attacks. Another of the, or the, uh, or the, or the libraries that we have is cryptography. Cryptography, uh, the main advantage does, is that uh, supports uh, Python 3 and uh, it has uh, it has uh, uh, be better performance uh, regarding to, to PyCrypto and supports uh, modern algorithms uh, like AES, GMDC, JCM, and so on. This library uh, has the same, uh, practically the, the same methods that PyCrypto and uh, is uh, uh, he use the he use, he use is is more is more is more comfortable than that, that per crypto. Uh, the, um, this library also supports uh, system encryption and uh, asymmetric encryption, as I as I said before. Well, uh, with res uh, regarding to security in Django, uh, these are the questions that we have. To, to make when we are developing a site and uh, when we are testing our, uh, the security of our site. Uh, we have to check, for example, if we are use uh, SSL uh, correctly in configuration, for example, uh, what, what kind of ciphers we are using in our site for generating the passwords. Uh, if we are using cookies for, for users, for example, and what kind uh, of information are we storing in the database? If we are uh, storing secret case or, uh, or confidential information of the user. Well, uh, for checking this, uh, this security uh, in Django, we have frameworks that we can help for, for implementing, uh, for, not, uh, for not have risks, for not drag for not have security risks in our site. There are frameworks like, like TaskTypy, uh, Django REST framework, or Web Machine. Also, we have uh, a secure package, uh, Django, the Django secure package that allows uh, uh, rec the, um, that our site uh, was secure in, in SSL requests. What provides these frameworks? These frameworks uh, provide uh, uh, protection against uh, uh, no vulnerabilities that we can have in our site that uh, uh, while uh, cross-site scripting, uh, SQL injection, client hijacking, and so on. These frameworks uh, uh, supports uh, HHL with the protocol HTTPS and uh, supports also data validation in, uh, we have, for example, a, a user for, for login. This, um, this uh, framework supports data val validation for the, for the forms in our site. And also supports, and also have support for uh, pass for algorithms like uh, SHA, uh, uh, invariant two, and or the or the algorithm that I show before uh, that is based in the in the k, -deri k -deri derivation function. Mm -hmm. 
Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will mention after. For checking the security of our site, uh, we can use uh, this, uh, this site, the Pony Checkup. This site provides uh, uh, help for checking the security of our site. For example, if we have uh, the HTTPS activate or we have uh, some book in, in our site and provide uh, information if we have an error, provide information about the, the error that we have and uh, offers information about uh, a solution uh, that we can uh, let for uh, resolve, resolve the, the, the problem. Some of the best practice in security, uh, for example, uh, we are uh, using with uh, confidential information, always use uh, HTTPS uh, and uh, verify that uh, the protocol uh, ACSL is using correctly. Uh, for example, uh, verify the, the service certificate, uh, enforce the use of the of the protocol in the entire domain of the site, and uh, if we have uh, uh, a link, links, for example, in the site we, uh, that um, that um, that save uh, 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 confidential information, uh, uh, we can uh, redirect to to enforce HTTP usage. And for example, if we, uh, if we are using cookies, uh, we can uh, uh, configure, configure the, the, the site uh, with, uh, with session cookies over HTTPS with a flag in the settings of the site, in the settings configuration of the site. Other best practice that we can have is the is the secret keys uh, keep secret in keep uh, keep the secret keys and credentials in 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 the store in in the database in a secure mode and if we have the site in production uh, put the debug the flag debug uh, to false in the settings configuration and another point that is critical is uh, the flag always host for example, if we have uh, in production the site, uh, this, uh, this flag uh, can be, uh, must be revised because if we, uh, for by default, is, it has an, uh, an asterisk in, in the value, and um, if we have an asterisk, this allows uh, to all, uh, all access to all the, all the site to all, to all requests. In, in any, in any, in any dom for, 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 for any, any, domain, any domain. And if we, we have to limit uh, um, the access to the, to the site, uh, for any, for example, uh, we have to change this value for IP of your, of your network, for example. For password storage, password, password storage is is, is one of the, po the, the point more, more critical uh, when we are uh, working in uh, when we are working with uh, credential users, for example. And uh, by default, uh, Django uh, has uh, this configuration. It's used uh, the key the key function with the combination with uh, the algorithm HHA uh, variant two. One, uh, in two, two, five, uh, 250, 55, six bits. If uh, we go to the hashers, that is, the, that is the, the, that is an example that we can find in the GitHub in Django configuration, uh, and we can see that use for the encoded the, the password of the user is using this function, the the key revision function and uh, use, uh, as I, I have seen before, 
uh, the salts and iterations, and with the function generates uh, the hash for that is storing after in the in the database. Well, for introducing to 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 found uh, vulnerabilities in our site, we have the OAPS. The OAPS is a set of best practice that we have. We have uh, to let for uh, to follow for uh, 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 better for have a better security in a, in our site. Uh, we can have uh, vulnerabilities like as well as like uh, as I comment after uh, uh, SQL injection or cross-site scripting, and this this guy uh, offers uh, best practice for for this 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 kind of, of of issues. The two main vulnerabilities that I, co I will comment are SQL injection and cross-site scripting. Uh, in general, SQL injection is, uh, is a problem that we can find when uh, we are making a request uh, over the, the database and we are not uh, escaping uh, the, param the parameters in, uh, correctly. And we can inject uh, some uh, parameters in the, in the select, for example, and uh, obtain uh, an access of all of the data in our database. And in Django, unfortunately, uh, we have uh, functions that uh, generate this um, properly, uh, that generates properly scaf these parameters. We can use, for example, uh, we are making a, a, a select, a request over, that, over the database. We can use the, the cursor method and uh, binding the parameters for avoid this vulnerability. Another solution that we have in Django is use uh, Django or ORM, that is object relational mapping. In this case, we uh, we create uh, we use we uh, we use objects for uh, uh, and automatically uh, Django. Uh, gives you uh, an abstraction that allows a uh, create, re retrieve, update, or delete these objects in the database. In this example, in this example, we can see that uh, we have uh, an object, a block, and uh, for a story, for a store, uh, for persistent, this block, this item, in the database, we use the safe method that provide the model. Uh, that is, the, the, that provides the model class uh, of uh, in Django uh, DB package. Other tools that we have for checking this kind of vulnerability is SQL, SQL map, map. SQL map allows uh, checking the, the, for example, the, the parameters, uh, making an injection of one parameter, and tells and makes, makes and tells you more info about is if the site if the database can be uh, vulnerable can be vulnerable to, to this attack and we have with this uh, tool we can make uh, check we can check for example uh, the, the 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 passwords uh, and that the stores in the in the database in it checks uh, the hash of the password that has stored in the database and tell you and tell you is the hash uh, can be uh, um, uh, can be weak to uh, for for a dictionary or brute for a or, or brute force attack. The other vulnerability that we have is cross site scripting. This allows an attacker to obtain the sensual information. This is used uh, this is used, in, for example, in, uh, um, in phishing site, for example, um, for JavaScript, uh, we have, we can, an, att an attacker can uh, execute 
uh, JavaScript remotely and access the, the session information of the user. For preventing this, uh, we have uh, in Django the render templates that automatically escape all variable values in HTML. In general, uh, when we are working with forms in Django, uh, the most important uh, the most important is use always the, the post method for uh, that uh, with post with post methods uh, the the data goes in the headers. Uh, another uh, best practice is use uh, the the Django force package for better. Uh, validation and security in the in the forms, and use the meta fields in model forms. Well, for uh, final, uh, for finishing uh, uh, the stenography, the stenography is a technique that allows uh, hiding uh, the data, text or image or whatever we want, uh, hide this data in image. And the question is, where is stored the data? But, well, the data is stored in the pixels in the uh, RGB components in the image. In each pixel in the image, in the, in the least significant bit, it stores uh, the information that we have, uh, that we, that we have to, to, to hide. In Python, we have uh, for uh, for stenography, we have some libraries. Uh, uh, for example, we have a stepic that stepic uh, for provide uh, some fun uh, functions that uh, uh, pass a parameter the, the image and a secret message. For example, we save uh, this uh, message in the image, and for we can encrypt the message and decrypt the message. Other libraries that we have is Stegano. Stegano, uh, the function is the same. Uh, we, uh, we, uh, in this case, we can uh, hide uh, text and image in the, in, the, in the same image. And we can hide and, uh, and reveal the, the message that we hide. And another tool that we have is pre capital PNG, that is an script, and, and the base uh, the, is, is the same. This is an example that we can uh, that we have uh, hide a text in an image using the, the least significant bit. And we can see that uh, in, in each pixel in the image, uh, we store the information that uh, we, uh, we have, we, we, we want to, to hide. And the, the reversing process uh, is, uh, uh, is the same, uh, but uh, we have to iterate over the, the image and uh, obtain the, the secret key with uh, uh, accessing uh, at, in, at this, at this, uh, at this uh, bit. Uh, we can hide uh, an image inside another image. For example, in this example, we can, we can see that uh, we have an image and if we, ha if we have to, to, to increase an image, we obtain the result. Uh, uh, the result of the image is uh, the last that we see in the, in the slide. Uh, that, uh, and we can uh, hide and extract the image uh, uh, that is uh, hide in the, in, the, in the message. And finally, uh, in my GitHub repository, uh, we can find uh, some of the, of the samples that, have, uh, that we have uh, seen. 
and that's all. And this, finally, this book uh, is interesting because uh, it introduced to to cryptography in Python and is uh, free and is online and we can see in samples uh, like we can see in, in this presentation. And that's all. Thank you. Any questions? Uh, yes, rather a comment and a question uh, about the password stuff. Uh, Django does it by default mostly correctly, but uh, I'm not sure if they have these old single hashes still in the list. Maybe you want to even remove those simple hashes and just use PPKDF2. Um, if you use anything else than Django, you really want to use passlib, P-A-S-S-L-E-B. Uh, it does a lot of stuff um, with password storage and offers bcrypt, offers scrypt, offers pbkdf2. You never want to write your own simple hash plus salt password code. That's mostly wrong. Thank you. Uh, I have another comment um, that sometimes it is very useful to use HTTPS. Uh, even when you have only public information to protect from uh, modifying uh, your data in transit, like including uh, malicious scripts uh, in many in the middle attacks. And yeah, it can be a problem like uh, attacks, uh, man in the middle or brute force attacks, and, 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 and probably we, we can have problems with this, with this algorithm. Any more questions? Uh, I got a related comment to the HTTPS. Uh, you recommended uh, that it's good to redirect from HTTP to HTTPS, and that is uh, actually not that true, uh, as the attacker can easily strip SSL or uh, continue to work on mm -hmm. HTTP because he can modify the, the redirect request. Mm -hmm. So kind of a better solution is to use HSTS, uh, HTTP, uh, strict transport security. It gets its own flaws, but it's a slightly better concept of uh, making, uh, of force, forcing user to access the HTTPS. I have no phone, uh, no other solutions. Uh, uh, all, all the, 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 means, the, the, the frameworks that I comment uh, that uh, provide uh, a security is all the, this is all the I, ha I have seen. And later, uh, the, the Dango, the Dango uh, secure package the, has, this, uh, the, has this feature and uh, have, have problems, but it's the only solution that I've seen. Okay. Anyone else? Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.